Hi, we recently released the 0.27 firmware version for the ADLM 2000 and SCOPY 1.3.0. This video is a brief presentation of the new features included in these updates. The features showcased in this video are the following. Hardware registration, logic analyzer and mixed signal view improvements, automatic updates, light theme, SCOPY demo mode, voltmeter range enhancement, and SCOPY flatpak for ARM-based processors. For instructions on how to update the firmware, please refer to the wiki page provided in the description. Firmware updates. After you've updated the firmware, open the module as an external mass storage device and click on the info page. At the top of the page, in the right corner, you'll see that we added a registration feature for the ADLM 2000. We strongly request that all users register their devices. To do this, click on the Namely tab. You'll be redirected to the hardware registration page. This is optional, but it helps us understand how customers are using the ADLM 2000. You can also register your device from Scopy. You'll notice that there's also a Get Started tab. Here, you can find links to all of our tutorials. Scopy updates. In this version, we made several major improvements, especially in the logic analyzer and mixed signal view, achieving a better overall experience for those instruments. When first running Scopy, you will be asked if you want to subscribe to automatic updates. This feature will check your board's firmware version and Scopy's software version to see if you are running the latest release. Maybe you are not a fan of the dark theme or maybe you just need some printer-friendly screenshots. In any case, we added a light theme to Scopy. In order to change this, you go to the Preferences menu and select the light theme from the Themes drop-down. After restarting the application, Scopy will be light. I will leave Scopy in light theme for the remainder of the video. Another feature that we added is the ADLM 2000 demo mode. When enabling the demo mode, a parallel process called IIO EMU will be launched. This will basically emulate an ADLM 2000 device. The emulation is not full featured. Triggers, for example, don't work. However, it allows you to run Scopy without having an M2K connected. The signal generator outputs and oscilloscope inputs are connected in loopback so anything generated on the signal generator should be visible in the oscilloscope. In this example, I am generating a waveform from a math equation and viewing it in the oscilloscope. You can copy the equation from the video description. We enhanced the voltmeter as it previously only ran in plus minus 25 volt range. This can cause problems when you are trying to measure a low amplitude signal accurately. You can now tune the voltmeter to plus minus 25 volts plus minus 2.5 volts or auto which will toggle between the two modes. Set it to auto. We will be feeding a constant voltage to channel 1 and observe the range updating depending on the value of the signal measured. Last but not least, we also released a flatpak for Linux on ARM based processors. The installation is pretty much the same as for regular Linux. Here you can see Scopy running on a Raspberry Pi 3B. Now that you've seen the new features, click on the links provided in the description and proceed with the updates. Be sure to register your hardware. If you've got any other questions, feel free to ask us on the Engineer Zone forum in the virtual classroom section. Thanks for watching.